Good morning. It's update Sunday. Well, we got a lot accomplished yesterday. And, uh, I, um, uh, wanted to share some updates with you. Poor little Nora got kicked out of her house. Um, she's been out in the yard scratching and carrying on during the day. And at nighttime, this is her little uh, house. So she'll be enjoying that for a little bit longer. I don't think she's big enough to put it into the coop with the older chickens yet. I, I can't tell yet whether she's a girl or boy, but we're calling her Nora. Hopefully she's a girl. So this pretty little girl is the reason why Nora lost her home. Um, we are able to replace um, the um, female rabbit that I lost earlier in the year. I went to Tractor Supply the other night to get rabbit food and um, the 4-H club was there trying to raise money and one of the ladies said that she had been given a rabbit. Sorry for the mouthy birds over there. They want me to feed them. It's feeding time. But anyways, um, I went to Tractor Supply to get some rabbit food. <coughs> I've been looking for a female to replace. Actually, I want more females. I want at least two more to replace the uh, female that I lost. And um, the 4-H club was at the tractor supply place and we got to talking a little bit. And, uh, and one of the mothers said, oh, I was given a rabbit I said, "Oh, and would you, would you, would you like to sell it?" <laughs> she said, "Sure." And I said, "How much you want for it?" She said, five dollars." I said, "Okay." She sold, and this rabbit's already had a clutch and did very well. So I brought her home, and uh, I let her have a little friendly time with my Bugsy over here. Hi, Bugsy. And uh, so they've been enjoying themselves yesterday. And uh, now hopefully I'll have some new rabbits. We'll see. So yesterday David did some weed eating for me. Um where I wanted it and uh, we, I gotta get rid of that tree oh I hate rain trees I absolutely hate these things I didn't even know it was there but I gotta go back in here and in this little jungle mess right there and I've got that beautiful uh, certain cherry and in the midst of that, I've got a rose bush too, and I've got to cut it back. It's grown wild. It's not. Ha it doesn't have any flowers on it anymore. I think that it, it died back um, when I was sick and uh, came back from the root. But we shall see. I've got to get it all cut back. That ha that's what happens when you get sick on the homestead. <laughs> So, um, got some more and I've got to get in closer here. I didn't want him to get too close to the trees. And got another certain cherry that's pretty big back there. I want to make a hedge of them back on the fence there so that it gives me some privacy. And, uh, I, um,
lemon tree. It uh, it got hit with the weed whacker, so I lost the fruit that was on it. Anyways, one of these days, get a fruit again. Oh, looky here. I've got a couple of fruit. Beautiful, beautiful. I didn't see those guys. So it's cool that he was able to uh, um, weed whack for me. Gives me a better chance to see things. One of these days I'll be able to get all these wild blackberries out of here, but it takes time. This is the new plant that he bought me. And I, uh, I had him plant it here so to um, grow up big enough that it'll shade the coop and give the uh, animals that are back here some shade and uh, a little bit more comfort because our, um, our weather's really hot all the time. So the more shade I can give them, the better they are. But um, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been really, really, really badly wanting um, loquats for a very long time. And what happened was, is I grew this loquat and put it in the ground where we were renting and it had been established for about a year and a half I guess and so that would have probably been in like 95 or 96 and when we got the house built here we um, moved it to the house and it was um, beautiful absolutely beautiful tree it looked like a you had just set, set an umbrella that was a huge umbrella in um, it was about the size of a beach umbrella um, or maybe a little bit bigger and um, we put it in the front yard where the mango tree is well it died from shock. I mean, we dug out way far beyond the roots could have ever been. And we, we uh, really took great care to try to get that to grow here. But it didn't. And, you know, that's what happens sometimes. So that, uh, that little transfer didn't work right. But um, throughout the years, you know, my parents have had loquats, and yes, they were inferior to the one that I had. Um, and every time I would dig one up and bring it home, it would it would last for a whole month or so, and then it would die. And I'm like, I remember this. So I had almost given up, and David decided that he was going to get me the tree that I really, really wanted. And while he was getting, he got me another tree that I really, really wanted. This is a sugar apple. Get off there, fly. And it is absolutely beautiful, too. I can't wait to get it in the ground. But I'm going to put it over here where the, uh, where the, um, the quail cages is. I'm going to move this quail cage back there. And give them space. And I want to, uh, when I, when I do that, I'm going to hopefully get that whole fence back there, uh, taken down and a new fence put up. 
and then I want the cages all back there, the rabbits, the quail, and then the chickens. And that pin over there I'm going to use for a grow out. So I'm going to fence off all of this through there so that when, and then I'm going to top it so that uh, that stinking hawk that comes around here will not be able to um, get my baby. So I'm, I don't know if I'm going to put uh, um, bird netting or something. Because when I let these little guys out, like last night, David and I had to get up in the top of my um, starfruit tree to get uh, Tiny and Mr. Rooster out of. Ugh. Pains. Those two are, are um, used to being free range wherever they want. And they decided that they wasn't going in the house. They were roosting in the tree. So, that was that scenario, but, uh, got a lot done. I'm going to dump these, uh, compost bins over in front of the, um, I had thought other places I was going to put them in the chicken run, blah, 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 but I've decided that the ground is really low in a spot over there where that tractor supply um, mulches, bedding, um, it's really low over there, so I'm going to dump those and let them, and, and, uh, let them finish filling in the ground there where it's low, uh, because it gets really wet there, and, and, uh, I have fallen over there several times, so... I have to get it to where it's. I'm not going to be able to fall as much. So, that being said, we uh, we haven't gotten that bed yet done. But I wanted to show you how beautiful the asparagus is doing and the um, gladiolas. Everything is just looking gorgeous. I just I'm so. I'm so blessed, but uh, this is the one, this is the bed that we just put in um, last week, I think, and it is growing phenomenal. I just can't get over how, how much it's growing. Um, There's cucumbers in there, and there's um, radishes, and bush beans, and dill, and yellow uh, pear tomatoes, and uh, colias, and geraniums. And one of the geraniums is fixing to bloom which I'm excited about to see what kind it is. See, I buy the plants that are almost dead for 50 cent. <laughs> and uh, I like to get them grounding in. And these, um, cut the weed in here too. These uh, asparaguses are doing really well. We've got some more new sprouts there. So this bed's doing really well. And let me take you over to the garden. Alrighty. So this is the jungle. <laughs> I mean, it is growing like, even overnight, I think it's grown like these, these uh, potatoes have grown at least an inch or so overnight. <laughs> so, um, over here, my fig tree is doing pretty good. This first one. These other two back here are not doing anything. I don't know. 
They don't appear to be dead, but they're not doing anything either. So, I'm gonna go and talk to somebody about that. This um, radish that I wanted the seeds from, it's finally putting off some blooms. So I'll be able to get some seeds from it. I planted some more radishes down in there and they're, they're uh, coming close to being ready too. Pulled some uh, more carrots out. They're getting bigger and look great. Um, the other day for dinner at my mom's, I made cold slaw and uh, I like carrots in my cold slaw. Not everybody does, but I do. And these beets are finally starting to do a little bit, I think. I don't know. They're weird. I really love beets. And I really want to grow beets, but they don't seem to do much for me. Um, and this is another uh, radish that I wanted the seeds from. Oh, it was so good, too. I roasted these. I, I like radishes roasted. I don't, I don't like them raw. But, uh, I wanted to show you. Yep, looky there. <laughs> I do believe that's the, it's either the yellow, um, um, lemon squash or um, yellow acorn squash and it doesn't really look like acorn to me so it's probably the lemon squash <laughs> and this tomato is ripe enough that I am not going to take a chance and let the squirrels have it so I am going to take this little dude off and finish, uh, finish it off in the house. Nice tomato. These two up here are still growing. And uh, yesterday it was so hot, I thought I lost my collards. They were so drooped over in the... Look at them this morning. They're so pepped up and ready to go. I really have to have to get out here and get these uh, tamed back and put them in the freezer. Um, kale's looking great. A lot of people won't eat kale when it's big, but I like it. Anyways, that's the garden. All jungle grown.